Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Ah, Modern Masters 2017. Arguably the best master set ever created in this crazy little world. Yeah, I know. So my patron, Joel, says, Rudy, I'm from Unique Finds, and, uh, dude, throw me some fetch lands. Tell me how we're gonna do. And, uh, yeah, talk about what's going on. Send me into the Thunderdome! Ah. Well, everybody, no turning back. Good luck, Joel. Uh, thank you for being a very kind patron. And as always, uh, may the fetch land gods be very friendly to you. May all the fetch lands... Now, remember, this is only 24-pack opening, but again... Or, I'm sorry, 24 packs per box. So it, it's a little difficult to get a bunch of fetch lands. You don't get 36 packs like a Cons or a Zendikar, so... But this, I mean, this product has... The value of some of these things and how the value is aged has been quite unbelievable, to say the least. Starting off with the touch. You know, ah, I don't know what you guys think of this chick, but you know it is what it is. Oh, that's right. Foil every pack. Windcrafter. All right. So pack one, kind of weak. Um, you know, it's kind of funny how, if you, if you look at the history of these, uh, really, this guy from M13? Oh, foil serum visions. You guys remember how expensive that card used to be? It was unbelievable how expensive that used to be. Um, it's kind of funny because it's like if you look at the history of Modern Masters 1, Eternal Masters 2015, 2017, Iconic, it was such a weird emotional up and down roller coaster. It really was. And treat the angels for our first mythic. I remember when this product came out, everybody was doing box openings and, you know, it was relatively cheap. I would say. I don't know, 200, 250 range, I think, 225 was the average market price, something like that. I can't remember. And a lot, Blood Moon, a lot of good cards in this set. And a core Skyfisher. Yeah, the amount of good cards in Modern Masters 2017 is unreal. I mean, I had to bring in the Bobs today just to keep an eye on us. I mean, this was ridiculous. I mean, it was, uh, God, I remember when Inquisition was like $10, $20. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Damping Matrix. See, there was just a lot of good cards chosen for reprints and use in this. And why they don't choose to do that anymore, I don't know. Like Fetchlands, Liliana, Caverns. Like, really? It was unbelievable. It was, it was just crazy. And Pyromancer Ascension. And, of course, a Legionnaire. So, we're not exactly getting a lot of the big hits right here. I don't know what's going on right now. We've got some Angels. And that's it. I'd like to see a nice, you know, fifty hundred dollar fetch land right about now. And <laughs> yes, folks, I do drive a DeLorean every weekend. Misty Rainforest, almost a hundred dollar card. We're gonna put you up here. And of course, what do we get? The hot chick who's like, yeah, congratulations, you can buy me Starbucks. Okay. So Misty Rainforest coming through for the first major, major hit. Holy smokes, that's awesome. Okay. And one, two, three, and the Obsidat Ghost Council. Another very expensive card back in the uh, Gate Crash era, Return to Ravnica era. And the Jungle Shrine. Very cool, uncommon land cycle. Beautiful cards, by the way. 
Um, yeah, so on these boxes, I think you only average like two fetch lands per box on the 24 packs versus 36, but uh, I'm not surprised to see this product. Oh, really? Damnation. Holy crap. God, I forgot that was even in this product. There are Rudy's Creepy Hairy Arm. There are so many good cards in this product. Holy. Like, how does that work? How does Wizards go from making this and then going to Iconic Masters after this set? Like, I don't understand how you can make something so good and then get so confused. I just don't get it. And the advent of the worm. What is that? Dragon's Maze? And with a hungry goblin little guy. It just makes no sense to me. It's like it was the same company and people even involved. So weird, everybody. All right, here we go. And we got the mortars. We're getting a bunch of, like, uh, another common, a lot of common foils. We're getting a ton of, like, $1 to $5 rares, by the way. Um, there's a lot of cards of value in this, but we're getting a lot of strange pools. Gifts ungiven. Very iconic card. Not nearly worth the money it used to be worth, but definitely, uh, very, very iconic with a spider. That's, uh, yeah, laying that out there. I still am amazed that even today this box is under $500, but, you know, every time I say that, people are, Oh, Aaron! Mm, God! Fetch number two. Ooh, and a foil signet. All right. That's what I'm saying. I guess I, I, the thing was, I knew it was always about the fetch lands, all about the fetch. I was always kind of poking at that over the years, but I genuinely never in a million years thought these cards... Like, Wizards would stop printing them and, unless you get, like, secret layers and $400 special. Like, I didn't see that coming. Like, I genuinely didn't think, oh, oh, one of the most beautiful angels in Magic's history. Linvala, Keeper of Silence. Absolutely stunning, stunning card. Powerful good card, gorgeous artwork, and, of course, the creepy Sylvan Ranger saying, hey, what about me? I'll take you out. All right, fine, you can take me out. We'll have drinks. You know, I mean, just... The amount of angels and fetch lands and lilies and just, it, it just, it was, is Cavern of Souls? And obviously, you know, obviously Snappy's in this set. There, there's so many good cards. It's un really, really? Okay. That's a little creepy. All right, Snappy. That's a little creepy that I just did. <laughs> totally not staged. All right, folks. Mythic number three with a, a flipping Snappy. When's the last time Snappy was even printed? I guess this set, right? You know, there's you know there's going to be a, a a secret layer Liliana for a hundred dollars or a secret layer Snap Liliana's ex boyfriends with Snappy and stuff. You know you know it's coming. You know it's coming. Uh, Niv Mizzet for the couple dollar rare and a ghostly flicker. Nice little foil common. It's it's just amazing. Like I don't get to open this box. I only have a couple of these boxes. I simply don't have the product, so it's very rare that I get to open this product nowadays. Summoning trap, not the most expensive, but a very fun little unique card. Fist of Ironwood. The pro it just it just amazed me how good this product was engineered. I remember at release time, this was like the only product that even at release. By the way, Seal of Doom. Haven't seen that in a long time. This oh, Death Shadow. I forgot it was even in it. And a gorgeous, gorgeous Druid's Deliverance. Beautiful card. Look at that. Holy smokes. I just want to be on record. From what I remember in 2017, this was where I guess 2018, 2017. This was one of the only products I can remember being in four and a half years on YouTube. When it came out, everybody liked the product. Vernon, oh, God, that's so good, Joel. Oh, my goodness. Vernon Catacombs in a nice explorer. Fetch land number three. Oh, God, that's so good. Hey, I just wanted to point out, this was like, when this set came out, nobody was unhappy. Everybody loved it. It was such a good product. I have a cackling counterpart, that little D one. Oh, and a foil mythic Domri. Definitely not worth the big fifty dollar plus it did at release back in the day of uh, Gate Crash. Holy smokes, foil mythic Domri. Those of you who weren't around, foil mythics of Domri was a really big deal, like eight years ago, man. When Domri was in like standard and stuff, like that that era, dude. Domri was a powerhouse, man. Holy crap. Ooh, and the cage from Dark Ascension. Very nice. Oh, oh God, don't do that to me. I thought we just had a foil fetch land, everybody. I was about to scream like a little girl and dig two holes to be a carrot, and I was going to sit in my front yard all afternoon. Oh, my goodness. I'm, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, God, are you serious? 
four fetch lands in 22 packs. Oh my god, there's no way. Are we actually going to get all five fetch lands? There's no way. No flipping way. And the dragon. And we got pilfered plans. Creepy little artwork there. Wow, what an epic box. Like, I know we didn't get Lily or Caverns, but man, what a good box. Holy smokes! And, ooh, beautiful. Ending on a beautiful, beautiful Restoration Angel, everybody. in a Sin Collector. Wow. Three Mythics. Foil Mythic. Four Fetch Lands. Absolutely awesome. Stunningly awesome. Awesome, Joel. Four Fetch Lands in Box 1. Like, there's, there's not even anything negative I can say, even though we didn't get our girl Lily. Even though we didn't get caverns. We, I mean, we, you know, Snappy, the boy, the boyfriend Snappy still showed up today. I mean, he's still, but Foil Mythic and four fetches. Oh! Oh, man. What a, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to top that, everybody. Box two, here we go. I just, I genuinely don't know if we're going to be able to top this. Advent of the Worm right out of the gate. Oh! God, I hate it when it does that. I think we get a foil fetch land. I hate it when it does that. We're going to scoot these over, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Those stupid, stupid guild gates drive me crazy. Every time you like, get a half a second damping. Okay, are we going to have a day? Oh! <laughs> are we going to have a deja vu here? Starting off with uh, the Matrix again, just like the first box? That'd be kind of creepy. And Bonfire of the... You know, not worth a lot, but still has its own little place there. Mythic number one. With a foil common. Ah, oh, still such a fun, epic, epic. I totally enjoy doing these. Ooh, Extractor Demon. Creepy, creepy demon. Not worth a lot. By the way, actually, a Sundering Growth is actually a pretty good uh, foil common. Uh, a lot of cool... Even, even the cards that aren't worth a lot, like, I feel like they're just good cards to be reprinted, to be picked. Ah, uh, the Aristocrat. Was this, uh... Is it Innistrad or Shadows of Innistrad? Pyroclasm. Like, there was just a good blend of just bizarre, cheap, and interesting, expensive cards that they printed in this product. It was just good, man. Oh, my God. Sack my Jawea into the party pack of the free Taco Tuesday. Misty Rainforest Double Tap. Are you serious? That's the patron right now, just wrecking everybody. Are you serious? Oh, God. Double tap Misty Rainforce, the most expensive card in the set. Evil Twin with a Ground Assault. I, I can't, I cannot believe that. We're starting off the exact same fetch land. If our next fetch land is an Arid Mesa, and we end up getting four more fetch lands, and we get eight enemy fetch lands in this video, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to scream like it's the, I don't even know, Restoration Angel and a Putrefy from Dragon's Maze. All right, beautiful little angel again. We're getting, uh... This box two is uh, feeling awfully similar to box one, everybody. Where the, the rares, the pools are very. Oh no, we didn't get Basilisk Collar the first time around, and gifts, or I'm sorry, Gift of Orzov. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Well, Rudy dropped the pack. Rudy, be cool, be cool, everybody, be cool. Well, we all know what the, the the foil is. We got a common foil. Might as well look at the rare and the cage. Okay. All right. Anything else weird there? Just check the uncommons real quick. And okay, okay, come on, come on. We want these packs are tough to open. It's kind of weird. The product's not that old. Usually, this is like an older, really old product that starts to happen. And Marsh Flats is that the same? Oh no, it's different order. Again for the fetch in a banishing stroke. Six fetch lands, enemy fetches already in the video with the best one on the double tap. Wow! And Mind Shatter. Boy, that's a that's a brutal card to play against somebody. And a gorgeous rotworm there. Oh man, what a good video. What a good video. I love the videos like this when we just get crazy good pools. And it's just such an exciting video. Summoning trap. Again, duplication. Ooh, full spell pierce. That's actually pretty nice. One of the best commons in the set. See, when we get a video like this and we're actually getting all the good cards, it's so much more enjoyable to film and just share with you guys. Like, I know everybody's watching. I'm just like, ah, oh, another dumb ring. Another Domri. Okay, this time, uh, non-foil. This is a weird two-box random group. And again, I don't know if these were not from the same case. I don't have many. These are just random leftovers in a box I've gotten from a collection. So I don't have a lot of details on these two specific boxes. They're not related or anything like that. They're not from like the same half case, so keep that in mind. But so, which is all more strange that there would be any, any real similarities. All right, here we go. Serum Visions. Splicer. 
and Past in Flames. Isn't that the same? No, we had Bonfire. I'm sorry, Bonfire. Past in Flames is actually not a bad mythic. I was like, did we just... Sorry, I got that confused. Oh, man. All right, folks, here we go. Where are we at? Here we go. And Fury Justice. Sorry, camera's getting nervous here. Crippling Chill. Oh, man, I feel like something big's coming. I feel like we're going to hit something else crazy, like a mythic or a crazy... Dude, if we get a foil fetch land, oh, my goodness. Sphinx's Revelation. Boy, if that doesn't bring back memories. And just a web. Man, Sphinx's Revelation was such a big deal, everybody. Four mythic uh, opening again. Man, that Sphinx, man, that was such a hot card back in that day. That RTR gate crash with that Sphinx. Gifts ungiven again for the duplication. Ah! Our third foil guild gate. I keep thinking we're going to have a foil fetch. Oh, man. Heart skips a beat every single time I see that. Drives me crazy. And, and really, this, wow. Feels like we're getting the exact same packs in like a, almost the same order. They're the same exact rares from the first box. Super bizarre. And it's Cackling Counterpart in Youthful Night. All right, well, we're down to the last couple packs. Uh, only two fetch lands, so I was really hoping to hit another four fetch lands just to make an epic video. Come on, one more fetch. Ah, the tracker. Ugh. Yeah, Signet. Foil Signet's not bad. I think that foil uncommon is worth more than the rare. All right, folks, we're getting to the end. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Vencer, uh, Shaper Savin's actually not bad. This has actually been a pretty financially holding value card there. All right, last pack today, Joel. Um, what a That box one was just ridiculous, man. Box two, weaker. Still not a dumpster fire, though, so that's good. Here we go for the close. And the touch. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, oh god, it's a foil scolding! Oh my god. Sorry, I dropped it. Oh my god. Who, I don't even know how many people are going to watch the end of the video. Oh my god, it's a foil scalding tarn, the very last card in the video! Oh. 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 Oh god. <laughs> 